Hey everyone, once again it is Casey. And in this particular part, we have Kirk Van Houten thawing frozen hot dogs in the sink because he is such a winner. Oops, sorry. I screwed up. What am I doing? I was given a fresh start and already I'm eating expired partially thawed hot dogs. Luann will never take me back if I don't turn myself around and get a job. That would be a good start there, Mr. Kirk. Captain Kirk? Sure, why not? Maybe you should talk to Reverend Lovejoy. Why the hell would I do that? He's useless. Because he always offers sage advice to those in need? No! He's just a bit friendlier to talk to people showing up at his doorstep uninvited. That's true. Better than Fat Tony. Oh, I am so sick of that particular character. Hooray, there we go. He's got the next quest. Let's see what he says. Sorry. Reverend, I'm here because I have nowhere else to go. I understand. Desperation is the number one is the number one reason why people turn to religion. Oh, they better not be going down a slippery slope. Great. I'd like some money, please. <laughs> I don't think he's just gonna give you money, man. You can't just ask for money. Isn't that the point of a collection plate? No, unfortunately it's not. It's so you give to them, not they give to you. Sigh. If I get you a job interview, will you promise to leave and never come back? At least the first part. Okay, so he's got to go work at the school. I wish he would just work at the bad dream house that he's standing in front of. Such a shame that they only actually have animation for the building during Halloween. I miss it. Um, I think you accidentally grabbed my wallet there, pal. I'm pretty sure I didn't. You have no money, remember? That's right. Just like I thought. Oh, not again. So they goes off to the school. The question is, which one? The elementary school or the high school? I'm thinking the elementary school, but you never know. Oh, speaking of Fat Tony, I hate that character. I hope we never see him again. And there's Reverend Lovejoy and Mayor Quibby who is another character I can't stand. They pop up way too often in particular levels. He is going to the elementary school. Kinda obvious. Oh. Okay. You want to learn the ancient art of groundskeeping, do ye? Well, it is going to be a long road filled with arduous trials. Why I bet you don't even know the first thing about being a groundskeeper. 
What to know? If someone vomits, clean it up. Makes sense. Although I think Nelson is probably pretty good at janitorial work as well. You're natural, like a, like a young me, only sadder, fatter, and older. There's actually a couple of reasons why I said Nelson, but, well, it's not really important, I guess, so, <laughs> moving on. Oh my goodness. Ugh, that's not very... Uh, not pleasant. And some chopped onions, and you'll have a mean haggis. <laughs> Speaking of Nelson, that's just weird. Ha ha, Wilson's dad has a job. <laughs> well, I guess I'll give my reasons now for Nelson. The first one is I always sent him on the janitorial quest, so the name kind of popped up in my mind. But I also remember the particular, obviously the TV episode with Nelson and he helps Groundskeeper Willie and then Lisa falls in love with him. One more thing actually that I do actually really like is I like how the character actually had a bit of dialogue with the storyline before he started the quest. Makes things a little bit more fun and interesting, so I hope EA does that a little bit more in the future. Alrighty, so Kirk Van Houten. He's done doing his thing. I carry around a change purse. Yeah, a purse. <laughs> what a loser. We get paid now, right? Uh, right? Coin purses. We all know the cool stuff is either money clips or fanny packs. Fanny packs are still cool, right? Oh, please tell me they're cool. I hear crickets. Moving on. That was fun. So it must have been bad. We gotta find the next quest and stop thinking about fanny packs. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Very obvious. You're the school janitor? Couldn't you find an embarrassing, soul-crushing job somewhere where so uh, everyone I know wouldn't see you? Actually, it's an unpaid internship. But I get to take home the uneaten taco shells every Taco Tuesday. At least he gets food. Once a week. But if you're not getting paid, why even take the job? Well, how about that? Wait, why is he, like, happy? Pretty sure he should be sad about that. Because life is like a marriage. You have to keep plugging away at it no matter how awful it is. Besides, do you think a success story like Kent Brockman gets paid to just lie around all day? Why would he choose Kent Brockman? That guy's like, he's got it made. Okay, so we have to see him relax. I seriously don't know what this is, to be honest. Hmm. You nailed me! Oh, it's a 60 minute quest. I had no idea about this quest for him. I gotta see what this looks like. Let's do it. But if I chip a nail, I sue. So where the hell is he going? Channel 6? No. Well, I'm confused. Because the thing is, is I don't usually do short quests. I usually do, like, the longer quests. Because I can only log on a couple times a day. Well, where is he? Oh, he's going to the chair. I have actually seen this particular animation 
when I visit friends in town, so at least I know what it's from anyway. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to do it more often. It looks pretty freaking sweet. Oh, good old Camp Rockman. I think he's actually rocking the salmon speedos. I think so. I can't really tell what color that is, to be honest. Maybe it's just red. I don't know. I make the news. Well, that's certainly shown me. I really wish I could have it that easy. Poor Cook Van Helden. Why can't you? There's just nothing like that on my list of jobs. What list? I didn't even know I had a list. Okay, so that's done. Seriously, I don't know what his list of jobs were. Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, Principal Skinner. All these cleaning supplies are giving me a rash, and my health insurance turned out to be just a band-aid and a tic-tac. A tic-tac? That's kind of weird. Oh. Thank you, whoever that was. How much are we paying you? Nothing. Oh no. We can't afford that. You're fired immediately. Oh no. Another failure. What am I going to do? I don't know. Mr. Van Houten, perhaps I could be of some help. <laughs> Marry Millhouse and give him less what? Blah! Marry Millhouse and give me one less mouth to feed? Sweet! Nailed it! Not in a thousand years, but there's a job opening at the Springfield Library. What possibly could he be getting at the library? What is it? CEO? CFO? Head Librarian? Pretty sure all that stuff requires an education. Something you don't have. Wait, does he have an education? Oh, he probably does. He has to work at as a library door monitor. I don't even know what that is. I've never even seen one before. Every library I've been to, you just walk in. They're making stuff up. I carry around a change purse. Yeah, a purse. I'm still, still clinging hope that the fanny packs are coming back. I'll get you your money! I hope so. So there he goes. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. What's his salmon pants? I really want to see Kent Brockman's salmon speedo again. I'm pretty sure it was salmon. It's probably red. Can't tell. But I'm going with salmon. Hopefully he had better luck at the library for his next particular job. Let's see what happens. I screwed up. We have... Huh. We have Wiggum. Okay. Someone call 911! Alright, Vagrant, I'm placing you under arrest for loitering without a laptop or half-finished screenplay. But I'm not a Vagrant or a hack writer. I work here. A likely story. And a pretty good one at that. Good enough that it belongs in my half-finished screenplay, I'll hail the Chief a wig of adventure. Lou... Bring him in for questioning about his backstory. Aw, oh, man. I don't really like this. I think this is kind of... Eh. Um, I think you accidentally grabbed my wallet there, pal. It's so-so. I, I kind of was 
expecting something else a little bit better. I don't know about this. It's always like, it seems like it's always either something involving Fat Tony, Mayor Quimby, or even Chief Wiggum. Seems like it anyway. Anyways, he's going to be going for 24 hours. You disappoint me more than I do Millhouse. There we go. The gate's open right for you, Mr. Van Houten. Okay, so because Kirk is spending the day in the slammer, I think this would be a good time to stop it right here, and we will pick it up on the next particular part. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. It's all good, guys. My name is KC, and I will see you on the next one.